Hi, I'm Nancy Slater, and I will be working with you the second half of the semester in Adobe Illustrator CC. I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes talking to you about where you purchase or rent the software. Unfortunately, the, um, the college doesn't provide it for you, nor do I think you can uh, pay for it with financial aid. I think that's been tried and not very successfully. So I've given you a couple of other options. Unfortunately, it is additional money out of your pocket. But believe me, if you are um, interested in drawing, on the computer. This is a great software to do it with and you will not be sorry. So spend the next couple of minutes with me and figure out how I get Adobe Illustrator and what you can do to get it as well. I look forward to working with you the second half of the semester. Take care. Hey welcome. I'm going to take a few minutes of your time this morning and talk about our um, software that we're going to be working in which is Illustrator CC. Now there are a couple of ways that you can work um, in Illustrator for this last half of the semester. Uh, the first would be in the computer lab at MCC. Um, there's the graphics lab. It's located at the um, in the Stevenson Center and there are I believe 20 or so computers equipped with Illustrator CC which is exactly what you'll need to work with. Um, if you can't make it into school or if you are going to work at home for some reason, you can also rent Illustrator. Um, I get it through Adobe, uh, adobe.com and I'll show you where to go here in just a moment. Um, and through the Adobe um, company you can rent either one software or a combination of software. You'll see with me I, I um, opt to rent a variety of different software because I work in a number of them that are Adobe owned. Um, Illustrator 2017 for example, Photoshop, Lightroom, and InDesign, and Adobe Acrobat I work in quite pr frequently. Bridge I work in occasionally, Pro rarely. But my point is that you get all of these software for a re relatively reasonable uh, amount on a monthly basis if as a student um, you rent them. So I'm going to see if I can figure out where to show this to you. Um, if you go here to students and it says students and teachers save 60% on the Creative Cloud. It's just $19.90 a month and you uh, click on buy now they'll ask for some um, justific uh, some identification maybe your student uh, card your student number some verification from MCC sometimes it's just as easy easily um, done as showing your transcript uh, for a semester or your schedule for a semester and they will allow you to have it at the student price I believe that you may have to sign up for it for a period of time, like maybe a minimum of a year. But this is how I get the software. And I've had it, I've done this probably for five years now. Actually, I started doing it almost as soon as it was available, so it may be a little bit longer than that. But the advantage to it is that number one, it's always downloadable. You'll see that. Um, Actually, it downloads and stays on your computer anyway. You don't have to download it or open it, or you don't have to have the internet to access it. So that's an important point. But um, I can open it. Um, I already have it open uh, from this tab, or I can go over to my hard drive and um, open it as well. And you'll see that it's here as well. Um, auto Updates, they download automatically if you choose that option or you can manually uh, update them at no cost. If you choose another option, which would be to buy the software, then you have to pay for each time you, um, each time you update the software. Um, and the Adobe crew, they're updating regularly. So really, just from that standpoint, to keep the most updated software, it's best to rent it. I don't know of any other option right now other than the lab renting or purchasing, but um, if I come across something, I will definitely let you know. Or if one of your students comes across something, when a fellow students comes across another way to um, 
access the software, which is legal, <laughs> then uh, let us know as well. So again, this is the software we'll be working with, Adobe Illustrator, and those are a couple of options that you can uh, um, consider when you um, get the software. But again, you'll need to have it by, I think it's the 9th of March, uh, for that first lesson, you'll have to have it um, available to you. So be sure you start working on it now. Thanks, and I look forward to our time in um, Illustrator.